Hi guys, Steve Buckenroth, Midwest Corporate Air, back with you. Today, we're gonna to do a video on alternate air. Um, what I'd like to do is introduce you to our to our Director of Maintenance, Tim Kearns. Tim is an IA, an A&P, and he's also one of our uh, main multi-engine instructors. He, of course, instructs single engine as well. But one of the things we want to get across to people is let them understand what's going on with alternate air. What happens is anytime we get into typically, typically it's ice, our filter will plug up. And if our filter plugs up, we can't pull the air in that we need. Any engine, of course, needs spark and it needs air and it needs fuel. And if we downgrade it with any one of those things, it doesn't run well. So if we have lost air in our engine, we are going to lose power. So what happens is the air comes in over here. This is a Piper Arrow. The air comes in through the air filter and it turns and it goes in the back of the engine on the induction system. If that induction system plugs up, we have to route air around it. Tim is gonna go ahead and open that alternate air door. So we just opened that alternate air door and that's where we would suck air in. It's not necessarily heated air, but it's also air from inside the cowling. So it's undoubtedly warmer than the outside. So the alternate air is open. Tim's gonna go ahead and close it now. The alternate air is closed and that would be the normal position. We start losing uh, RPM or manifold pressure, a combination thereof due to ice. He's going to go ahead and open it up and you'll see that and that would bring the engine back to life and get us the air that we need to breathe. On the Diamond Star, the air, the alternate air comes in and it comes in and goes right through this K&N air filter. As it goes through this air filter, if this starts to plug up right here, it's going to really start pulling hard and the engine's going to have a difficult time running. So what happens is the pilot will need to pull the alternate air, which you'll be able to see from the side over here. So if we photo it over here, Ricky, we need to look right back here, come around here. And, and Tim, if you would, go ahead and open up those holes, those alternate air, that alternate air pathway. So those are open, that's alternate air open, and he's gonna close alternate air back up. So you see it pulls air around the backside of the filter, still delivering it to the, in, to the induction system and allows the aircraft to continue breathing air and continue running. Of course, it's a dirty air, we don't have it filtered, but at least it's air. What we're gonna do now is take a look at a Diamond DA20C1. Again, the purpose of this video is to show you guys all the different Alton Air systems that we have on these various aircraft. So here, the normal in induction air goes right into the front, right through the air filter. And as it goes through the air filter, if that filter starts to block off at all, we have to make another path for it. So that other path is the backside of this filter has a door. We'll go ahead and open that alternate air door up. And as we open that up, that created an opening that allows air inside the cowling to run around that and get pulled in, come right up through the scat tube and right on into the the end, uh, manifold system going down into the to the engine. Now, as we as we move on through here, the air induction system. A lot of people, Tim, don't understand alternate air. While we're on this side, though, I'm going to digress real quick. This is the Tannis engine heater. We can plug the the heat in uh, for the for the aircraft in the winter time. But as the air comes into the system, we'll, we'll move over here on this side. As the air comes into the system, my understanding, Tim, is it comes right in the air filter right here. It is. And that this hose has nothing to do with it unless we're taking an alternate air. Is that yeah, right? Yeah, so that, that scat tube here is for alternate air use only. And we draw the alternate air source from the tailpipe. So it's a heated source of air selected by the pilot. And we can see in here, it will take the alternate air out of the scat tube through the hole and bypass the air filter to keep the engine running in the event of an ice over or a water, water situation. So am I correct saying normally the air goes through this filter? It does. If the filter plugs up, it can't breathe anymore. It's just like us having a mask on our face that's all frozen up can't breathe anymore and it's sucking air. This engine is just pulling an enormous amount of air, I know. And it's now gonna start pulling air through this hose and on the inside of the filter, bypassing the filter. Yeah, so the pilot selects the alternate air on. Uh, there's a valve here in this port that the pilot selects. So right now it's in the closed position, so it's taking air through the air filter. The pilot will open this valve and at that point it will take air through the scat tube and bypass the air filter through that duct there. So this is where I've got to go on my apology to you, Tim. I, I've told people that I don't think it really brings hot air into the engine, maybe warmer air from the cowling, 
But I, I was ignorant not understanding that it actually pulls air over this engine exhaust. So this air enters the engine exhaust. And then, of course, as I don't know if you can see, we, we, uh, we would have to move the lever, but that it goes through that hole. He's going to go ahead and open the lever up for us right there. So let's put this right here. And as Tim opens that lever up, there we go. We can see that it opened and it would have pulled this air right here across this exhaust pipe and then across the exhaust pipe into the hose, the scat tube, and then right on up into the center of the air filter and bypassing this filter. So that's how alternate air would work on the Cirrus SR22. Now I know on the 22T, there's a magnetic door. Okay, so our inlet air system, we have an air filter, which gets its air from a lower cowling, and we have an orange scat tube that goes up to the turbocharger. So we have an alternate air system that bypasses the air from the air filter in case it gets iced over or wet. An alternate air valve is this silver triangle right here. So the alternate air valve is selected by the pilot. When the pilot pulls the alternate air valve on, that pulls on the alternate air for both engines. At that point, the alternate air on, and we are taking unfiltered air from inside the cowling, bypassing the air filter to keep the engine running. That's our alternate air system for the DA42. Last one here, we want to take a look at the alternate air system on a Cessna 421C airplane. We have this airplane engine uncowled. It's currently going through an annual. If we were cowled up, we would see uh, an entrance right here that we could bring alternate air in right here through this magnetic door. So what happens is if we are having a difficult time pulling air, the pressure increases, and then this magnetic door would open up, allowing cold, unfiltered air to go around the filter. This induction air here comes in and goes through the filter. But if it enters here, it enters right down the center of the filter and it doesn't get filtered. Now, if that wasn't enough, that's an automatic alternate air door. In the airplane itself, we have an alternate air door door knob and we pull that alternate air. So we'll go ahead and pull that alternate air now and then that opens it up right here. We'll go ahead and close it so you can see that. Go ahead and close that. Now we're going to open it back up. So when we open that up, that's the manual alternate air. So again, this one is the automatic alternate air, unfiltered cold air. This one is the manual alternate air. And what that one does is it creates, uh, it allows hot, we could call it dirty air into the, it would allow hot, dirty air into the cockpit. So we have to shut down the pressurization system anytime we use al manual alternate air. Automatic alternate air is fine. Use manual alternate air. We have to shut down the pressurization system on that particular engine. That's the last alternate air we're gonna show you on this video. Thanks a lot for watching and have a great day. Hey guys, thanks a lot for watching our videos. If you like what you see and it helps you out, by all means, please give us a like, subscribe to our channel. And uh, if you're interested in flying with Midwest Corporate Air, uh, just take a look at our website. The information we need is on there and uh, we hope to see you in the future. Thank you.